We're performing a 10-year SPS project on the Noble Voyager. We've got six thrusters that are running 24-7, 365. This is a complex, major project for our team. There's a lot of diving operation involved. Safety is really critical. Lots of planning goes into a job of this scope. And the team have only a few days left to finish the job here. It's all or nothing. Vatsala has been working with Noble on a turnkey thruster maintenance program, including the upgrading and exchanging of thrusters on seven of its vessels. This is a job that will take Vatsala's team of specialists around the world. Project managers, engineers and divers working on Noble's most important rigs, including this one. The Noble Voyager is a drill ship that was commissioned in 2015. Like any vessel with complex systems, it occasionally needs some maintenance and upgrades. It's now time for its special periodic survey, including underwater inspection in lieu of dry docking. After a year of preparation, the Noble Voyager has arrived for critical maintenance on the Caribbean island of Curacao. We need to exchange six thrusters. Three are newly built in our workshop in the Netherlands and three are upgraded in our workshop in Norway. From there it was all transported to, uh, to Curacao and here we started the exchange. On a drill ship you've got six thrusters that are running 24-7, 365 and they need to be changed out to maintain the integrity of your station keeping system. You can say the project like this here starts up to eight, 12 months before we execute. The project team is sitting together with the vendors and developing the, the scopes. Lots of planning goes into a job of this scope because you have people coming from all over the world, you have parts coming from all over the world. It's a lot of collaboration and a lot of teamwork that goes into making a project like this go smoothly. This is a complex, major project for our team. We are here with 30 people. Uh, makes, it, uh, makes it challenging to get things done and we need to be on time for the next one. The reason why we are here at Curacao is once we do the trust exchange, there's a lot of diving operation involved. I think this is the best place in the world to dive, to be honest. There's no swell, there's no current, there's visibility is incredible, temperature is incredible. Everything on this is running on the clock. Time is money in the oil field, and when you're doing a thruster change like this, you're taking a break between campaigns. I'm feeling excited. We prepared everything well with the team, and the team have only a few days left to finish the job here. But today is the big lift. It's all or nothing. There's no going back now. Once the thrusters are lowered into the water, the team have just 24 hours to connect them to the vessel. The challenge is obviously these kind of lifts don't come up that often. You're talking approximately 60 metric ton. The safety is really critical, especially with having the divers in the water. The next stage is the most difficult. With the thruster now in position, the next step is to connect it to the ship. With two divers in the water, safety is a big concern. Biggest challenges of this project is the weight of the thrusters and the size. The rigging equipment is very heavy, especially on the water. It stays a risky business to do the diving and the scope on the water, but we're maintaining all the risks by proper communications, the correct working procedures and the correct equipment. It's a complex operation with a lot of simultaneous activities. We have a lot of tugboats ongoing, barges movements. We have umbilicals in the water, so a lot can, uh, can happen with, with those guys in the water. Uh, and communication is key there. Once we have one diver in the water, you always have a standby diver in any case of emergency. Noble has a very strong safety culture. As the Wachillas, safety-wise, we're, I think, perfectly aligned. Our divers from in the water service will connect the thruster with the heavy shackles and all heavy equipment on the water, which makes it very hard for them. I won't relax until they're safe out of the water. For the team, the successful and efficient replacement of these thrusters 
has been an endorsement for this one team approach to this major turnkey thruster maintenance program. It's gone extremely smoothly. There's been great collaboration between our team and their team. They've come on board the rig. They fit right in with the crew here. And Noble has a lot of Wartzilla thrusters in their fleet. So this is a collaboration that'll be going on for quite some time. The cooperation that we have uh, with Varsilla, that's not something that we generate overnight. That's something that has taken years to build. And it's really highly appreciated how close we have built this together. We have open communication and trust in each other, uh, but also working very in detail on continuous improvement. We had a great collaboration between the Wachilla propulsion technicians, between the vessel's crew and the divers. I think all the communication was the key for this project to be a success. I'm proud of the team. We have passionate people. And in the end, we, we do it safely, on time. And uh, in the end, we have a happy customer. For me, that's the most important. The hard work is done. Next, the thruster will be filled with oil and the thrusters tested during sea trials. When that's finished, we will focus on the next part, moving the thrusters from here to our workshops in the Netherlands and Norway and start upgrading them. Meanwhile, Vartzler's thruster team move on to meet their next challenge, the noble venturer in the Canary Islands.